The homecoming is complete. Once again, Joan Laporta is the president of Barcelona. Laporta triumphed over candidates Victor Font and Tony Fresher in last Sunday's club elections, over a decade since his last tenure between 2003 and 2010. In his second term, one target will be to address the club's worrying total debt, widely believed to be over 1 billion euros, 1.2 billion dollars, or precisely 1.173 billion euros, 1.4 billion dollars, according to a report in El Mundo, Spanish, in January. Were Laporta's 30,134 majority voters motivated by economics, or were they swayed by the Catalan's positive relationship with Lionel Messi, the magic man he is so desperate to keep? Maybe it was pure nostalgia. Laporta fronted a golden era at Barcelona when Frank Rijkaard and then Pep Guardiola managed the side. In any case, leading Barcelona in the 2020s will be no easy task. The smiling new incumbent is confident of solving the financial conundrum, however. If he does, the following points could play a part. Barcelona's strategy for buying and paying their players needs a rethink, and what better way to begin than with a new president? The club has often been uncalculated in its recruitment. Costly purchases, namely Philippe Coutinho, haven't been worth the money and are responsible for a heavy wage bill. The club also owes transfer add-on fees to various clubs with whom they have previous agreements in place. Marker reports the combined cost to be 126 million euros, 153 million dollars. As for Messi, releasing him, even for free, would relieve the burden of his record-breaking contract. But Laporta wants him to stay for sporting and commercial reasons. He is still a massive boost to the team and his image is inseparable from Barcelona's, meaning he is responsible for much of the commercial value and income potential. Unfortunately, that leaves other tough decisions. The current transfer market has deflated. So for now, Barcelona are unlikely to regain large amounts by selling players, especially given many of their steep release clauses, leaving the emphasis on negotiating salary cuts within the squad. At least they have their academy, La Major, which is a more sustainable source of talent and has fostered the development of Oscar Mingueza, Ansu Fati and Ilay Moriba to name a few. They bring hope for the future, especially under a considered wage structure, something that Laporta can help set in motion. The club's ambitious infrastructural SPI Barca project plays an important part in Barcelona's economic standing. It's a pricey venture, one that will eventually cost around 1.25 million euros, 1.5 billion dollars, including capitalized interest paid to main funders Goldman Sachs, the US investment bank that has lent them money. During a period of economic struggle, it seems a dicey deal and one that gnaws away at the accounts. But renovations have long since begun and the club is not in a position to doubt.